And now, uh, awesome guest for you guys, Nina Turner, Senator Nina Turner, uh, joining us on TYT again. Welcome, Nina. How you doing? Great to be here, Jane. All right, great. So, Nina, let's talk a little bit about the future. Um, so, obviously, 2016 was an amazing campaign. Um, as I explained in the last segment, uh, Bernie in eight months closed a 50 point lead, which is just spectacular. Uh, never really got the credit for it, obviously, same old thing, corporate media. Uh, and and the, But in 2020, it was less of a surprise and it was more of a heartbreak. Uh, a lot of folks, including myself, thought, we got him, we got him, I think we're gonna win. Yeah. So um, a lot of people are asking, okay, after that heartbreak, what do we have left to hope for? Well, I'm right there with you. Feeling though we we had it this time, you know. In terms of moving forward, it's certainly very clear that Senator Bernie Sanders was the spark. The movement is the fire. We are the fire, and it is our job, our collective job. Those progressives, leftists, and I'm losing track of what we call ourselves these days, but people who believe in humanity, who are pushing for causes that are bigger and higher than themselves, people who believe what is just and believe in what is just, what is right, and what is good. The work continues, it never stops. It's the same work that our forebears have done before us. It's our work to do. And you know, the senator was very clear about that. That is why not me, us is real. And we need to take, take that mantle, not me, us. It is about us and we must carry on. So Nina, how do we carry on? So I know part of the answer is supporting more progressive candidates. Absolutely. And so. You know, and that's exactly why I helped to, to co found Just Democrats. That's why I now founded Rebellion Pac. Um, and we're gonna talk to Brianna Wu in a little bit. She's running Rebellion Pac uh, to help candidates now and in the future. Uh, so, how can other progressives help? So, how can Bernie Sanders help uh, other progressive candidates? How can you help? Well, sir, I've, I've endorsed several candidates. I will continue to do so. I'm going to do that in a more organized fashion. I get calls, emails, DMs, every social media outlet where people can reach me asking for my endorsement. So I am going to formalize that. And hopefully when we get through this part of COVID, it probably will not be until next year, the whole new normal, but we gotta find ways to make our physical presence known in a safe way. And if we can't be there to help candidates physically, we gotta be able to do it virtually. And that is the beautiful thing about being able to give your time, your talent, your treasure. You can make calls for people who you support and you gotta leave your house. You can give a donation so that they can either purchase commercials or ads or send flyers. There's all sorts of ways still in the 21st century that we can help the candidates that we wanna support. I believe the, the future is that the leftists, we need to run people against neoliberal Democrats in every single election cycle, period. Make it known, just come on out and just say that's exactly what we're gonna do. If you are not willing to use the people's power on the people's behalf, we come in for the people's seat. Not for you, but for the people's seat. And we're gonna talk about what the people need. We need leaders who have a vision that will provide provision for the people. It's our government and it's our money. So nobody can sit on the sidelines, not in 2020, not in 2021, 2022, 2023, 2024, and so on and so forth. We also need progressive organizations to come on and stiffen up here. We got outmaneuvered, point blank. The neoliberals coalesce. Ben, Jink, we, we know what happened. And so the progressive movement needs to be more agile. So those who lead organizations, I want to see progressives build a pact with one another, P-A-C-T, a table of progressives. Let's find those issues that we can agree on, top three. So you can keep your autonomy and your group and keep on fighting. But if we say our top three issues are criminal justice reform, Medicare for all, legalizing cannabis, hey, then that's what we do. And come by hook or by crook, we stand in together, no daylight between us on those issues. And that way that allows those organizations to continue to do the beautiful work that they're doing on other issues. But we we are lockstep on, on certain issues. And then another way is to come together to run candidates against neoliberal Democrats. 
Yeah, there's a thousand things I want to say about that. <laughs> but Ben, I want to let you jump in here. I, I am so happy to hear Nina say that about running and primary, primary everybody, right? Oh. The establishment showed us this year that they will not abide by their own rules. They blacklist certain companies that work with uh, candidates who are primarying uh, someone that's in the establishment. But then Nancy Pelosi turned around and endorsed oh. um, someone in a, in a primary challenge. And so since they did that, let's return the favor, not only to be spiteful, because I'm not above being petty, but because like Nina said, it's the people seat. And they're not using the seat or that power to be to, to help the people. So by all means, if there are people out there who are sincere about their progressiveness and not just using it as talking points and they are ready to get into the fight, then we need to find them, run them and primary everybody. Yes, so Nina, I'm gonna ask you um, um, a kind of a hard question here because if I'm a progressive in Congress, I'm calling you every other day. Um, but um, but I don't get the sense that even our top progressives are stick, sticking together too well. Because I mean, when you talk about the groups, the groups, you know, some of them are wonderful, and we talk about it. You led our revolution. Uh, I, I love our revolution. I think they do amazing work at the grassroots level. Yeah. I, I think there's a couple other groups that are great. Obviously, Just Democrats, I think, has made a giant difference. Absolutely. Um, but, um, but the rest of them, God, we couldn't organize them if our lives depended on it. They just, there's honestly, so many of these groups are so selfish, it's unbearable. <laughs> but, but when we talk about the, can, about the folks in Congress, you get a sense that they're reaching out to the progressive community a lot. I mean, almost none of them endorse Cory Bush. Don't get, yeah, don't get me started on Sister Bush. And um, I, that was a candidate that I endorsed. We've been together since her first run in uh, 2018. And I'm so glad that we stuck together. She calls me Big Sis. Yeah, too many of them turned a blind eye to Sister Bush. And now they call in there and patting her on the back. You go, girl. I knew you could do it. You know, that's foolishness. You got to stand with people, especially people you come up the ranks with. And I get it. You know, when you serve in a caucus, as I did, that if you got, you know, people you then started to build a relationship with, and then you got your girl or your your colleague rather running, you know, it may be hard. But see, when you take the personality out of it, just let your colleague know, look, we serving together, but I gotta support this candidate for these reasons. I'll catch you on the other side, but I'm going for this candidate for reasons other than the fact that I serve with you and therefore I gotta sign some type of document or some oath that I gotta support you. Either the folks that we'll need progressives in name only, okay? Cause cause our lives are on the line right now. The planet is on the line. All of the things that we hold dear is on line. So we need some folks that's gonna give up some stuff for the privilege of holding the people's power. And there are groups like Roots Action and PDA and other groups who are really ready, willing and able to go ham on these neoliberals and these progressives in name only because we only have a, 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 a finite amount of time to have the people's power. And we gotta be about the people's business, Jane Ben. It's time out, scare folks, we will need, no. Come on and let's change some things. We can turn that house around in particular because it's an every two year venture versus the Senate, which is every six year. I'm not saying that we shouldn't have run some candidates in the Senate, but imagine if we focused on local level and on that Congress. Every time they turn around, there's a progressive running against somebody that is not doing the bidding of the people of the United States of America. And I'm talking about the poor, the working poor, and the barely middle class, the marginalized people cast aside. Them the folks I'm talking about, because all the other folks don't need nobody looking out for them. <laughs> Can I just say Nina Turner for whatever she wants to run for 2021, 2022, 2024, Nina Turner, fill in the blank. Because that's the kind of passion and fire that we absolutely need. Thanks for watching The Young Turks, really appreciate it. Another way to show support is through YouTube memberships. You'll get to interact with us more. There's live chat emojis, badges. You've got emojis of me, Anna, John, JR. So those are super fun, but you also get playback of our exclusive member only shows and specials right after they air. So all that, all you gotta do is click that join button right underneath the video. Thank you.